Oh yeah. This is Jay Prince. And his son are trending right now, or were trending. I don't know. I'm not paying attention to that shit. Many of us inside the entertainment world are just tired of Jay Prince going against a person who has something to say about anything he has a stake in. Shakur Stevenson, the boxer he's been managing since Shakur was a 16 year old. He defended his investment and then entitled son Jay Prince Jr. said a whole bunch of bullshit looking like a goddamn nigga weak as hell. Which of these niggas is worse, King or no. Jay Prince Jr.? Aside from that, there been some backlash for the princes. Some of y'all willing to go as far as to shed light on some skeletons of the past. When Houston was the underground hub of the world, fast tracking to the most impressive I'm, 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 run a city has had from 1998 to 2008. Ten years in a culture brought millions into the city of Sur. The originator, DJ Screw, Chad Butler, I'm, 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 bellied up and named him king of the south screw you was important to texas you hear me and some days after negative. november 16 2000 he'd be laid to rest now me being on the outside looking in would accept the autopsy stating the cause of death but houston might have a little secret and these days what was done in the dark has been coming to the light i started the video negative. off with jay prince jr just talking as I'm on the internet looking for some internet news and see this connection to DJ Screw explained to me by one of Screw's relatives. He said, well you must not have tuned into my cousin Chuck interviews on Donnie Houston podcast. Go deep and you'll see brother. The truth is being revealed now. All them scary ass rappers my cousin made is old. They were so scared of Jay Prince and what he may do to them. I'm not even scared of my daddy or grandpa, LMAO. Guess cause they from Houston, his city. They ain't wanna speak up for Robert Earl. Then Drink Champs got him drunk. He started dissing my cousin Screw publicly. And in quotation marks, he was extorting him. Yeah, Screw, he dead now. I'm gonna play a clip where that's exactly what Jay Prince was saying D during the Drink Champs interview when he got a little tipsy. There ain't no totally story. Please, no interview. D yes. But DJ Screw, when I met DJ Screw, DJ Screw was being uh, extorted by an artist that was connected with me. And I didn't know nothing about the extortion, but I was the one supposed to be extorting it. So, because of your back in that. Yeah, yeah, DJ, he was paying an artist, right? A monthly. No, really. Because they was connected to you. Yeah, because, right. because I was so spicy. Was saying, <laughs> this is Jay Prince money, nigga. Come on. I was just playing. I was just telling him that right. I had that you. Shit. Oh, right. shit. So after he and I had an opportunity to get together in my office, I'm, I'm looking at the staff, right? And then he, he sit and looked at He said, man, you ain't nothing like they say you are. <laughs> right? So I'm like, what you mean? <laughs> and he broke this down to me. He said, man, I've been, had you been getting money? <laughs> right. I don't know nothing about you. like a lot of shit go on, you know what I mean? That I don't know nothing about that I can charge. So, that I can charge. So, you know, screw you end up you know, I end up falling in love with screw, man. Right. You know what I mean? But uh I just had to say that shit. You know, I ain't That's also an artist was exploiting him yeah. using your name. Yeah. Holy moly, I'm not gonna ask who the artist is. As much as I wanna ask, I'm not gonna do it. No, I'm not gonna be able to do it. Let me say this about him. He did. Okay, God bless me. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, yeah I can still have to do with that. Yeah. God, God. He, he not here. No. God bless him. He did now. Yeah, screw. He did now. And nobody said him up in word. In my opinion. All them Houston rappers scary as respecting Jay Prince more than they father. LMAO, we are the real. My OGs got left out story cause if we speak, everybody will be broke and no longer making money off screw name, face or nothing. They left him and wasn't fucking with him before he died cause he was going through depression. They took any deal given to him and left. Man, I mean, when you think about it, you don't see too many motherfuckers that was around Jay Prince complimenting him. 
most of the relationships with artists that were in rap a lot don't exist anymore. But even then, nobody's ever tried to expose Jay Prince. Either H-Town is just closed off to people like me and you, or what this commentator said is actual. Motherfuckers just fear him, even in his final days as a senior. And look, if this is the case, I'm, I'm done with Houston. I mean, we left it to them. Screw gave them a meal ticket or a map to one and they sold us out. I think I said they had their run till 2008. It might have been 2005. That's why Dallas needed to chill, cause we up. I was a screw up for real. I had the tapes. I knew so many Pat, Moyo, free, free, Pokey, free, Freestyle. I hope Screw cousin wasn't talking about them boys. Couldn't have been Pat, cause Pat died early. But yeah, Jay Prince really on some mob ball shit or what? I know the answer to that. What about you?